So this Saturday, I'll be doing my very first event since COVID-19 shut most everything down. Some of you haven't worked yet. Some of you are working, but this is my first. You know, how do you handle this? Well, Jay Brennan had an idea a while back before any of this happened where he wanted to keep the microphone for toasts and speeches on the stand. So nobody touched it. They walked up to the microphone podium or stand and gave their toast and speech. And a lot of people didn't like that. They said, well, people are going to want to walk around and things. Now I think it's important that nobody touches the mic. So on the stand it goes. But I'm going to take it a step further. Now recently, I picked up these wind socks from on stage. I got them on Amazon. I think they were like 1049 or something like that. There's nine of them. They're nine different colors. So in the next day or two, with very clean hands, I'm going to open up this packet. I'm going to put each one of these wind socks in a separate Ziploc bag and put them in like a little cardboard box or something. I think there's going to be like five or six people giving speeches and toasts. Each one of those people will get their very own Ziploc bag with their very own windsock on it. This is the idea. They're going to approach the mic stand, put their windsock on it, give their toast or their speech. When they're done, just to kind of make it fun, I have a little garbage pail or something next to the mic stand. They'll be able to take the windsock off and do like a windsock drop into the garbage can, like a mic drop might be kind of fun no cross contamination or anything like that and then the next person comes up does the same thing and I thought the colors were fun the girls can pick the colors they want there's a purple in there I don't know there's, there's a red there's a yellow maybe the guys you know they want a blue or a green or an orange just to make it fun they could have all been black but this way nobody mixes anything up everybody's got their own color kind of make a little I don't know fun thing out of it so that's my idea for the microphone. I'll be turning it on and maybe if there's a situation where we feel like we need to make some stand adjustments, I could even step in and do that. It's real easy on these clutch loaded mic stands to raise and lower them. When it comes to sound and lighting and even our song selections, I have a theory. For most of our careers, everything that we've bought music wise, sound wise and lighting wise has been to create this ideal environment for dancing good full sound really cool ambient lighting that kind of creates this excitement on the dance floor and the song selection is stuff that people want to get up and dance to that's what we've done for a long time but it's a little different now we may not want to promote these big dance floors it's not to say people won't dance it's just to say that if we create less than an ideal environment for dancing perhaps they won't do so much of it so for sound, I'm going with the Evolve 30M. I've got a hall that under normal circumstances can hold 200 people, but right now they're at a 50% capacity, so the client's looking at about 90 people in this hall. Normally I would bring the Evolve 50. I think that would be just fine for that application if I were trying to promote dancing and create that dance environment. But I'm gonna go with 30M because I'm going from 127 decibels with the Evolve 50 to 123 decibels with the 30M. That's three decibels, it does make a difference. And I'm going from a 12 inch subwoofer with a lot of bottom end to a 10 inch subwoofer with less bottom end. You still hear it, but it's not as thumpy as it would be, or punchy as it would be with a 12 inch subwoofer. So the sound will be full and good, but it won't necessarily be ideal for dancing. And the same with the lighting. I wanna keep the lighting low key. I don't wanna do a lot of flashy lights to create a lot of excitement. I want to do beautiful lighting to create calm. And when it comes to songs, they've selected what they've selected for songs. Some of them are great dancing songs and they may get some dancing. Some of them are not so good. Now, typically when people would ask for songs that I felt like might clear a dance floor, I'd point that out to them. I'd say, hey, you know what? I don't think this is a great dance song. Maybe you should consider playing this during cocktail or something else because I think it'll clear your floor. Not the case now. I'm going to go ahead and let those ride. I'm happy when they request songs that maybe aren't great dance songs. I'm not the social distancing police. I don't have the authority to do it and I'm not interested in doing it. But the least I can do is try to create a fun environment but not necessarily ideal conditions for dancing if that makes any sense. Now one more thing. They asked to do the shoe game. I don't do it a lot but they requested it. And 
normally what I would do is suggest that we do this maybe before dinner. But I think I'm going to go ahead and throw it into the evening somewhere where they would normally be dancing just to kind of break things up. A lot of times I try to put things in an order that maybe doesn't create a lot of disruption because when you have disruption you lose dance floors. But I'm not worried about dance floors anymore. I mean, I'm not telling them not to dance, but again, I'm not trying to create ideal conditions. So to put some of those activities somewhere else in the evening that normally might raise a red flag could be ideal. Maybe you need that little breakup. Maybe if they start dancing to just about anything and you want to kind of kill it a little bit, you pull something like the shoe game. I don't know, just some ideas. It's all theory. We'll find out how things really work out when I get there, but that's my plan. Let me know what you think of my ideas. Are they good? Are they bad? What do you think? Let me know in the comments section. Again, just theory. We'll see how it works. I'll get video of this stuff too. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Wish me luck. Practice and enjoy.